you for hosting Nina. Actually, people online. One people. <laughs> one, one people. I I also can't English right now. <laughs> so I hope somebody shows up. It's a little bit spontaneous today. Um, but I tried to find time to draw again and to continue the facial expressions. I promised you. And last time it kind of all exploded. Um, because suddenly Twitch wouldn't connect anymore, so we had to end it suddenly. It came to a sudden end. Um, but I'm back, and I hope you're back too. And um, yeah, my dashboard says I have zero viewers right now, but people are writing something in the chat, so I guess somebody's there. Hi. <laughs> oh, thanks for hosting. So, um, as you might remember, we were making facial expressions of my comic character Kohana from Crimson Crash, the comic project I'm working on. And um, I used her as a poor um, victim who can't escape to show you how to do different facial expressions and we started with a neutral one and then um, we did some yeah, some angry ones and I also explained uh, how to simplify um, facial expressions and that for example if you're angry all the facial muscles kind of pull towards the center of the face as you can see here um, and she became more angry and then we also did some happy ones and in the happy facial expressions every uh, thing is pointing a little bit upwards in the face as you can see in the little smiley face in the corner and yeah and you can make it stronger and a little bit um, asymmetric which I really like when drawing for example making smiles more stronger to one side than to the other it gives the face a little bit more personality and more smiles a happy pleasant smile a little bit of a, a determined smile and this is the one I drew to advertise the stream so um, we still have some facial expressions to cover and I will try to do it today. Here I have my blank face without expression and without hair. Um, and what is, what is the emotion you want to, me to draw next? <laughs> Say something. I need you. I'm a bit lost. I have been at work for hours today and I'm maybe a little bit tired, so I'm sorry. <laughs> also, on my way back, I was in the rain for about 30 seconds and I was completely wet. Okay, discuss. It is a good idea. Thank you so much. Why don't I have her with hair?
we will start with disgust this time. So I'm leaving my base uh, facial expression here on the bottom below and drawing a new expression above it. So when you are disgusted, hmm, what kind of face you make? I'll be like, uh. <laughs> so, um, I guess like one of the um, uh, key elements of it when I'm trying to make this face by myself and then like thinking what would a disgusted face look like. I don't know where my mirror is, by the way, but usually I always have a mirror with me when drawing. So... When I try to make the facial expression, I kind of close one eye, so... Catch the cat. No, you're not late. We're just starting. <laughs> and the other eye was more like more wide open than the, the closed one. Like, yeah. And now really important of course the eyebrows. And since it's a really, a really tense facial expression, they also need to be like have a, a little bit of a tense curve. Like if you arch the eyebrows uh, strongly in different direction, like make a little bit of an S curve, then the whole facial expression looks more tense. So yeah, is this a little bit like the face I made? Like, ugh. <laughs> Because her her lips are like lifted up in the, on the one angle, uh, uh, one side. I'm also lifting the nostril a little bit because everything in the face is connected. And of course, because then you lift your um, lip corner a lot, and this muscle tenses, then also the nose is a little bit affected. So now we just need to. change the face shape a little bit because her mouth is wide, more wide open. Mm. 
You're good. So many eyes here. Here we go, a pretty discussed face. Now we can see if maybe we can emphasize some things. For example, I would say I would lift the lips a little bit higher. And as you might remember, I told you about my favorite look to the liquify tool. Here you can, in Photoshop, make some facial expressions even stronger if you feel like it. Hello, new follower! better before but um, maybe the tip of the tongue is a little bit too much and it looks a little bit like she's showing her tongue so can make it a little bit less mm. I'm trying to make the expression again it's always really funny when you when you try to draw something and you even without thinking try start making this expression with your face it's always funny So, we have discussed covered here. So, what are people saying in the chat? Uh, hey, Craig, to your problem um, when you um, added lines to the face and it made the character look like a granny, um, it can happen really quickly. So, especially like if you want your character and if it's a stylized character and you want, if you want them to look young despite having like some um, lines on the face because you need lines for facial expressions, um, try to avoid too many lines um, around the lips because they instantly make characters look really old. If, you, if for example, I take the smiley face here, um, usually when you smile, you have the smile lines here, but if you draw them, it instantly looks super weird because it instantly starts looking old. It just just simplify them and don't don't draw them too much. What you can um, uh, what you can do is like just um, suggesting the, the lines, like I did here for the disgusted face. Um, because I didn't do like the whole line from the no nostril to the lip like it would actually look in reality but it makes uh, drawn characters may look really old so I just added a little tiny line over the corner of the lip which uh, shows the emotion but doesn't look that old in the end and the same also for the lines around the eyes when you like really are um, when the eyes are really tensely shut like ah then you can add some lines in the center to to emphasize that and they don't make the character look old like as you can see also here with the smile lines and so on what gets dangerous is when you make them too long and make the lines also too much like here on the outer corners then they also instantly add age to the characters i hope it helped <laughs> 
<laughs> but, um, what else? I'll catch the cat if you like it. I can also talk about chocolate. <laughs> I just, uh, because I was out of chocolate last week and I ordered new chocolate on Amazon because for some reason all my supermarkets nearby don't have my favorite one. And today it arrived and it's one kilogram of dark chocolate. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, by the way, it was really mean of me. <laughs> so, okay, continue drawing. Stop thinking about chocolate, otherwise I kind of want to eat it. Now that I'm looking at this expression, I'm thinking maybe would be even better to um, tense this eyelid a bit. I think so, yeah? Because before that it looked a little bit too surprised and now it looks even more disgusted. So, it helps to always lo uh, look back a little bit and try to emphasize things that were not clear before. So, somebody also suggested sadness, so um, the most easy way to show sadness is the same as we did with anger, is with the eyebrows. And while for angry faces the eyebrows are going down in the center, for sad faces they are also going down closer to, uh, to the eyes, but more in the middle outside part and the inner part of the eyebrow is lifted up a little bit so basically if you do like this kind of eyebrow shape then you instantly have a pretty sad face as you can see already when I just do the eyebrows here and leave the rest of the face alone she already looks kind of sad so basically if I also try to simplify it here with my little smiley when you're sad you're like you don't have any power left in your face and you're like mm, everything is going down like the eyes the eyebrows the mouth like down what's wrong So if I just take the whole face here and only change the eyebrows, she already looks a little bit sad or at least like just a little concerned maybe, not yet that sad. So if you want to, to take this and emphasize it even further and make her even more sad then of course as I have already shown here in the um, symbolic drawing of course all the um, corners of the mouth go down a little bit And you, she gets more like booty mouth. Like, mm. And of course, we can emphasize the way we drew the eyebrows, make them slide even 
further down. Like they are sliding over the eyelids a little bit and closing their eyes down a little bit. So you have to maybe change the shape of the eyelids a bit too. Isn't she sad? Poor girl. What am I doing to her? make it look a little bit more cute you can make the pupil a little bit bigger then she gets more a little bit puppy eyes and what you can do is make the eyes even a little bit more droopy so ev all of this hanging down of the face is even more emphasized Look, so sad. Compared to this, where she's just slightly concerned, here it's already like really a frowning face. So, more comments here. look at a drawing like the next day it looks different from uh, when I am different if you understand I like found some problems in the drawing should I draw a pencil one day and then the next day ink hmm sometimes it really helps to uh, wait a bit after you have drawn something and look at it the next day for example or just like in an hour or something because sometimes you are like caught up in the moment and you don't uh, see some mistakes you made so it helps a little bit to get a little bit of distance to your work and then um, sorry <laughs> um, then look at it again and sometimes you see mistakes that you haven't seen the day before it's also a little bit dangerous sometimes because if you sometimes the drawing you made has come from an emotion you had in this particular moment and when you look at it the next day then this emotion has changed and you don't feel the same way anymore and you don't really feel the connection to what you have drawn the previous days so I can't say it as a general rule that you should wait until the next day to do the ink for example because it's it really depends on what what you are drawing i for me when i do like quick sketches which uh from which it's really important to me that they transfer like a specific emotion i i have in this moment then i just leave them be even if they have mistakes i just go with the flow just to to have the emotion present in it and if it's something bigger, where it's important to me that it gets perfect in the end, then I would um, look at it several times and correct mistakes and so on. And usually bigger drawings take more than one day to complete anyways, so you have the time to correct mistakes and look at them with a, like a fresh eye. I'm taking the eyes and lifting them all up a little bit now because they kind of slip down a little bit too far. And yes, it's definitely the no chocolate at all phase. I had it all weekend because I was running around the apartment searching for the last remains of tiny chocolate bars hidden somewhere because it was terrible. It was hell. <laughs> um. I'm really sorry for the sound I made with the microphone. I just I had I was afraid that you don't hear me well and that I, I wanted to move it and then I it's it's on the table so if I move it then it's really loud for people with um 
um, with headphones. I'm sorry. <laughs> So let's make her, her even more sad while we are at it because sadness. Let's make her cry. So of course, as you have guessed, at some point you can't emphasize it anymore. Like I, I can't really make her eyebrows like um, sink down lower, and it it doesn't work endlessly. So we have to to start um thinking um how else we can um make her look even more sad like for example we could add some tears collecting in the corners of her eyes like she's about to start crying and usually when when you when you are not not yet crying but you are like about to start then the tears are collecting in like the corners of your eyes and right now and to make her eyes look more wet we can add like more shiny points to them to show that they are really 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 wet because she is about to cry Then you also don't have the, the problem that the tears collecting in her eye corners look like some some you know, some dirt, something like that. Because now it's more clear. Oh, okay, she's about to cry. Her eyes look really wet. And also, maybe you know, uh, maybe you have noticed like when you are like about to cry and you're like kind of biting your lips together, like mm -hmm. then to to. Um, show this a little bit stronger you can make the lips appear a little bit more wavy because this is what it looks like like mm -hmm. when you're biting them together Now she's seriously out of chocolate. Like if we um, compare here, the basic concern, really sad, about to cry sad. <laughs> yes, we can try to to indicate the wobbliness, but I, I'm afraid that it will look too much like wrinkles so it's not that easy what um, what um, this is why for example mangas um, do this kind of when somebody is about to cry wait 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 they do this kind of uh, wavy mouth because it's it looks a little bit like it's this shaky mouth thing, but um, we can try to make the same thing with her. Wait. I'll make another copy. It just depends on on how st 
stylized and emphasized you want your drawing to be. If you want it to be too realistic, uh, like really realistic, you can do a wavy mouth because it's not what it looks like. It's just a, more of a symbol, what um, it feels like. So, but since she's a comic character and we can do whatever we like with her face, we can try what it looks like. I have a feeling that it's a little, a little bit of a problem because her mouth is now m more extreme from the facial expression than her eyes are. Um, they are still pretty much realistic from the style, so it, it is a little bit conflicting. But we can try what we can do. Maybe we can just emphasize the eyes more also and make the whole thing a little bit funnier and more extreme. The great thing about uh, drawing in comic style, even, no matter if it's more western or more manga or more like really cartoony, is that you can uh, change the shape and the size of the face and the eyes and everything as much as you like. So you have a lot of, of artistic freedom, what you can do to, to make a facial expression work or to make it look funny. You don't have to, to stick to realism. Hello, new follower! So, as you can see, I just made the whole expression a little bit more extreme now and a little bit more cartoony and now the wavy mouth works. And it didn't with this face. give her a little bit of sad eye bags. So every time I'm doing this, her eyes are sliding a little bit too wide down, too, too far down, like this. So, what questions do we have? <laughs> Roll her in a blanket and place sad roll on the couch and blick sad roll some chocolate and give sad roll a hug. Yes, this is what she definitely needs. Um. I really like dynamic pictures with movement and such and always struggle with it once the look is more comic like. Is it not so stylized that I can get wild but not so realistic that everything falls into place anyway? Therefore the strange questions, maybe it is a, pro a wrong approach that. Um, what's the question then? Ah, okay. I understand, this was the continuation of the question before. Ah, now I get it. Yeah, it's always um, 
it's sometimes a little bit of a struggle how much you stylize things and um, how much you um, make it realistic. This is why I, I like cartoony style in general because um, when you have watched like animated cartoons, you see that sometimes uh, the um, characters change like from one moment to the other and they're completely different. Like uh, I like, for example, SpongeBob SquarePants and. <laughs> And you know, uh, even if you didn't don't watch it, you know all those gifs where suddenly his face completely changes from his the usual style how he's drawn, and suddenly his eyes become huge or something like that. And and this is what what I, what I like about uh, animation and comic style, and this is what you also can do with your drawn characters without having animation. But because people know this concept of of. Uh, emphasis and stylization and they are not that shocked by it when it is in the right moment so you can make your character look slightly different or more stylized from one moment to the other because people are prepared to see that if it's in the in the right moment in your story or whatever you do so if you if uh, the viewer sees that you're trying to show a funny sad moment and to make fun of her crying in this moment because maybe the reason why she's crying is ridiculous then they will understand why you chose a way to draw it which is not realistic and if you are trying to make something like really serious sad and um, make it appear seriously sad then if you choose a way to stylize facial expression then people might be turned off a little bit by it so it's always a matter of context. Okay, um, just a uh, last thing about um, crying. If you want to make her like really, really cry. Uh, <laughs> At some point, when you are when you are crying, you mostly close the eyes a lot because you have so much water built up in in your eyes that you need to blink and get rid of it. And also, it looks more intense when you close the eyes. The tears usually also run, run down on the sides of the eyes, not somewhere in the middle, but, but from the corners of the eyes. So if you're trying to make it look like tears are running down her face, try to use like really thin lines because it's just transparent water and not something really solid and strong running down her face. And then you have crying. If you want to make it a little, a little bit more funny, make some snot come out of her nose too, because actually when you are really crying, then water comes out everywhere. You can't really control it. <laughs> So, what kind of emotions are we missing? We had anger, we had fun, we had sadness, we had some disgust. How about fear and shock? Let's take a oh, basic face in the background. Sorry, I burped. <laughs> and um, 
Of course, like when you are scared, like the most obvious thing which you probably think of is that you open your eyes really wild, uh, wide and that you are like uh, staring at the shark. So uh, as you have also seen from the expression I made right now, it's like when you are scared, you can all think of the scream face. Ooh. Everything is open wide, like in all directions. The face stretches like this, like... <laughs> yeah, I did read your mind by that. So, actually drawing somebody scared or shocked is, is quite easy. Especially with comic characters. With a realistic style, it's a little bit harder. But like this, we only, we just have to open her eye wider. Maybe not that wide right from the beginning. What also helps is making the um, pupil a little bit, like the iris here, a little bit smaller because when you when you tense your eyes, you're trying to focus on something, then the, the uh, eye focuses a little bit stronger and the, the black part is getting smaller. So of course, in order to open your eyes wider, you need to lift up your eyebrows a little bit because all of those muscles are connected. So, of course, the eyebrows are lifted up. And maybe because she is surprised, but not that shocked yet, we just open the mouth a little bit. Ta-da! We, we have our first surprise face. So, of course, if we are trying to, to emphasize all of it, we can also think already here uh, how to make it even stronger. We can add, for example, here again some wrinkles under the eyes because it, it makes this this effect of the eyes opening wide stronger and the shock bigger. Also what you can see what changes immediately is when you just leave the whole face the same but you change the shape of the eyebrows making them not only surprised but maybe surprised but at the same time a little bit angry that makes a kind of facial expression where you are like surprised but also like ready to fight like Aah! but I will punch you so it's almost the same facial expression but as you can see only changing the shape of the eyebrows already changes a lot what also helps to, um, what is also possible to change and to emphasize the whole thing is because especially if you're not uh, drawing super stylized comics you can't uh, make the eyes bigger forever so what is easy is um, to actually make the iris 
a little bit smaller. Because, as I said, to emphasize this effect that your eyes focus on the thing that shocks you. And you can even go and make the pupils a little smaller. And of course, since we are already here, we can make her mouth open a little bit more. Um, keep this one as a little bit of a reference below. And of course, because the mouth is opening wider, you have to also make the put the chin down a little bit so the mouth actually can open. Comparison here. Yeah. A little bit of shock. Ooh, more shock. Hey, David. Oh, what did I miss? I'm looking at the chat right now. <laughs> possessed expression. Hmm. What would a possessed person look like? By the way, probably the possessed person will be the last one for this session because it's already getting late. Um, or let's say we do two more facial expressions and then I end the stream. So we have possessed and another su suggestion. I'm waiting. In the meantime, I'm reading a question. Uh, have you read the Han Solo Marvel comic book miniseries? I recently bought it and I'm vastly impressed by the panel layout and now how it's incorporated into the story as well as the perspectives used. Uh, you probably don't need that much help or inspiration in that field, but if you haven't seen... It really sounds interesting. I, I have to look at it. Um, Han Solo. Um, is it? Is it like a comic book which was published as a book or is it like online or what what where can I read it? Where can I get it? Also I love Han Solo. Does he look good in this comic? <laughs> I miss LA too a little bit. Although I heard it's really hot there right now so I'm not not I'm don't miss it. I take everything back. They, you can stay in the heat and I stay in my rain in Hamburg, but I will be back in November. Han is ha ha hans, handsome. It's great. It's great. So um, let's try doing a possessed face. I have no idea how to. Hmm, let's think possessed. Probably something empty eyed would be would be realistic. Hmm. Like wait. Make it easier for myself. So 
So the first thing I would do for, for our possessed face is um, just erase the eye, the iris and the pupil because then you have this empty eyed <coughs> zombie face. Maybe you can even add some veins to make it creepy. Will be like a really horror face <laughs> horror face tutorial now. Also because uh she doesn't sleep well, maybe add some some iris here. You see that she's looking up. So she probably didn't get much sleep from being possessed. So give her some really bad eye bags. I I could Google a possessed human, but now I'm 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 we 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 will get there. So her eyebrows would be more like in a sad state because she's probably all in pain and tortured by the thing possessing her. Do you guys know Junji Ito, who draws horror manga? It kind of, those eyes kind of remind me of his stuff, and it's scary as hell. So we have that. We can make the eyeshadows a little bit stronger even. And now, let's make her mouth a little bit open. Maybe, maybe give her, get the impression that her lips are more cracked. And maybe some saliva coming down. Yeah, that's a sexy face. Does it look possessed enough to you? <laughs> now she looks like no coffee, no sleep, and too much internet. Oh yes, and no chapstick. Okay, um... Disbelief. That's a good idea. Um, let's try disbelief. And it will be the last expression I'm doing today because I have to eat something. I'm hungry again. <laughs> no, I will start looking like the possessed face soon. Like, uh, give me food. Don't worry, I'm just I'm 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 trying to to uh, read stuff correctly when I see something is 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 not right in English. But at the same time, I'm making English mistakes all the time myself. So you you're free to laugh about me. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, let's go back to normal face. So. Um, disbelief or like any kind of like questioning phase, I think is works best when you add a little bit of um, asymmetry to it. 
like first of all I would change the shape of the eyebrows like make one of them to be pulled more down but the other one more up like questioning something like that now of course because it's only the eyebrows it looks odd we have to emphasize it a little bit with the eye so let's make this eye a little bit more surprised Because you're yeah, like tense and thinking, I'm I'm I will add the that the lower lid is a little bit more tense, so it doesn't look surprised but more like a little bit tensed. I don't know another word for it, so I'm saying tense. <laughs> Why do people on the chat actually have different colors here? What does it mean? Can somebody explain it to me? What do you have to do to be pink or green or purple? So now it's already like a little bit of a disbelief phase. Would you agree? Yes? No? Yes? And now we maybe need to emphasize it a little bit more with some wrinkles here. And the lip shape maybe. a little bit too angry. Now we're getting there. like every jeans or ex-promotional poster ever really dude no they are different to, to make the dream works promotional poster we we have to it's close but it's not the same we are taking this face and giving her a really confident smile More confident, more smart. Maybe with a little bit of teeth. And also the other eyebrow wouldn't, wouldn't be that surprised. It would be still be a little bit more cool, but raised. Yay!
it is a good uh, sassy facial expression it's just it, it just gets a little bit obvious when when all dreamworks animation movie posters have always somebody with this facial expression on on them so it's not a bad facial expression to use you can do it especially if you if you try to to add maybe some something personal to it so it doesn't look like exactly the same Back to our disbelief phase. Also, what you can easily do from this phase is because it's also a little bit of the thinking and questioning phase. If you just make a look somewhere up in the upper corner of the room, for example. She instantly think, uh, looks like she's thinking. Like, hmm. Because usually when you are thinking, you are looking somewhere inside your head, basically. So you're like looking up. Actually, there was some, there's even some, some facial expression analysis, like when you are looking that way that you think one thing and when you're trying to remember a feeling and if you're looking this way you're trying to remember a sound and if you're looking down you're trying to remember a memory or something like that. I don't remember what exactly which means but usually when you're trying to like really think or remember something you are not looking straight but looking around and trying to think about something so it's basically you can make you do it quite easily from the um, disbelief or questioning phase. And, and here's due to popular demand of one person a beautiful mustache for him. So yeah, I think that's that's basically it for today. Do you have any more questions? I'm happy to help catch the cat. I hope uh, you're just try to have fun with facial expressions. Like do them in front of the mirror if you are not sure what an expression looks like and try to, to analyze what your face does. Like try to see, because if you try to just copy what, what you see in your face, it doesn't work because you have to stylize it. But try to see what the movement is, like what, what changes when you go from normal to surprise, you see that everything that's that and um, it's I think it's more interesting to actually see the movement change uh, what changes in the face and it's easier to make a stylized facial expression from that than just looking at a photo of a facial expression because it's easier to see the difference from the normal face to the um, expression you want to make when you do the expression yourself and see what muscles move and what parts of the face move and what changes and these are the the things you have to emphasize to make this emotion work um thank you for the pun and uh how are you was it a question to me um i'm good i'm hungry i'm a little bit tired because it was a long day and it's monday but um Actually, it cheered me up a lot to have the stream. Thank you for coming and watching and uh, giving me company. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I hope it is helpful to you um, to, to s see how I do facial expressions. And maybe if, we, if you have like many questions and um, we can do another facial expression video some, someday, sometime. Um, but I guess 
now we have like kind of the basics covered and we can do something else next time and i think the next time i will do a big sketchbook flip through because i i have completed one i make a sneak peek sneak peek this sketchbook i've been been having it for for like over a year now because it's one with really many many pages so uh, be excited to see a lot a lot a lot a lot of art and um, let's pick some random page here is another Crimson Crush Kohana and let's see here is a funny swan man feeding swans but I will tell you more about it when we do the stream. Here's a cat witch, cat magician. Another Kohana. So yeah, I hope you're looking forward to that because this will be my next stream. Woo! Some postcards are falling out. <laughs> Do you have the same problem? You're buying postcards when you're somewhere on vacation and you're totally planning to send them and you never do. It happens to me all the time. I'm so sorry. Like, my dear parents and dear friends, imagine all of the postcards you sh should have received by now from me. It's a lot. Just try to feel them in your heart. <laughs> Maybe it helps. So yeah, next stream, I will try to stream next Monday. So maybe maybe we can make it a regular thing. Make it, I hope I can make it a regular thing. So maybe next next Monday evening we meet again. I will show you the sketchbook and answer questions. So there will be no drawing, but sketchbook. So yeah, thank you. And I, I thank you for, for the nice words. And I hope you enjoyed. And the stream will be available on... YouTube after Twitch deletes it. And if I forget to upload it to YouTube, please remind me. And uh, just for fun, since everything here is in a single frame, we can play all the facial expressions we had so far. Not bad, right? <laughs> so okay thank you guys i will hang up now until the next time